They'll hand it off. Mackhart cuts it back, looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies! With five... To me, it starts up front with that big offensive line that on average actually weighs more than the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Starting offensive line, you have Noah Zare at left tackle. Then you have Nick Summick at right tackle. Those guys check in well over six foot six and 300 pounds each of them and they really drive this offense overall of course led in the backfield by mason ice the quarterback but in particular the star of this run has been adam mackhart handed off to 20 and he's going to give you six i expect him to carry the load they have had him on a pitch count all season long coming after that 1300 yard season in 2019 because they wanted him to be fresh for the playoffs and it's clear head coach scott flory is going to ride his horse here in mackhart to help this team try to capture that Vanya Cup. Nias is a high caliber quarterback, at least in my mind, and he has some targets there that can change the game in an instant. Sam Baker, I like to call him the touchdown maker, can make big time plays in Colton Fawson, the fifth year senior in his last year of eligibility is a guy that can make game changing plays really quickly as well. Keon Edwards back in the football game. Edwards off tackle. How they can corral this Mustangs running attack is just being ultra physical because that's what Western's going to try to do. They're going to try to run the ball with Keon Edwards who led the nation in rushing during the regular season and got Riley Pickett on one side who had a great game against Montreal. And then in the middle is Nick Weed, the University of Oregon transfer at linebacker has been absolutely stout and a stud there. I think he can help clog up the run game and Nathan Cherry at the other defensive end spot, really physical dude as well. So I think the Huskies match up well to slow down the Mustangs on the ground. We're going to see, I think, some more snow might even hit by the time kickoff comes on Saturday afternoon. And I think it could potentially play a factor. That said, the Huskies are used to dealing with this weather and Western perennially plays later into the season. So I don't think the elements will necessarily decide the game, but you'll have to be aware. This is the Huskies' 10th visit to the Vanier Cup, and they're trying to win for the first time since 1998 when Scott Flory was an All-Canadian offensive lineman with Saskatchewan at the time and Warren Muzika was a high-end linebacker. They're now defensive coordinator. So those two have come back to build the program and take it back to the Vanier Cup and instilled that winning mentality.